What's up everyone, Kawaii Crew here, and welcome to my playthrough of Grisaia Chronos Rebellion. This is part 4 of my Chronos Rebellion playthrough series. If you haven't seen the other three parts, click the playlist in the description down below. Yeah, we're going to pick up where I left off back in part 3, so without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, here we go. But yes, last time where we left off, the original... Grisaya girls and the Phantom Trigger girls finally meet and it was a joyous moment a legendary moment and Not just the Grisaya series, but probably the entire history of visual novels maybe <laughs> But yeah, anyways, um Yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is it was a joyous occasion and now it looks like the girls are moving back into their old dorm みんな自分が使う武器を決まったかしら。ええ。まだ使いこなしてるとは言えないけれど。でも、ヘッツのおかげで何とかなりそうかなって感じ。いえ。そう。じゃあ、ちゃんと英組には負けたのね。オフコース
By the way, this track is called A Brief Moment. Makes sense. This is a school. This is still a school after all, and you guys are still students. Well, too bad! あなたたちにとってフルスということもあって親近感を覚えているかもしれないけれどここはあなたたちが暮らしていた時間からは何年も先の未来おまけに私たちはオールドスリープという特殊な経験をしたばかりだとしたら何をするにもまずは今の生活
I want to end. I want this to end quickly. I want to eat rice again. Even though I continue to suffer, I pers persevere and continue my training. Also, I can become a real ninja. The village only accepts the strongest of the strong into its domain. Or drop out like me. Every passing day that I am mocked and made fun of. It's painful. But perseverance is my strong point. I'm used to suffering. If I can survive like if I can survive this, then I can become something more. What would that be, you ask? Something like the bird that flies into the in the sky. Huh? A short sound emanates from my dry throat. I take a deep breath. Suddenly, the light goes dim around me. When I come to, I notice that I'm in some gloomy room. Is this a basement? Oh, what the... Oh, what's going on? Oh, this track is called The Murder. We've heard, we've heard this before in Grisaia Phantom Trigger. That's how you know it's just getting pretty... very serious. Oh, fuck me. Man snorts a self-deprecating laugh. My back feels ice cold. I sprawl on, out on the ground. Two men peer at me tentatively. I think I've seen one of them before. He's the grumpy old man that yelled at me, saying I was no good. He's an elder ninja from the village. I don't think so. I doubt it. They have no reason to save me. So then why? I accepted the job, then gave up on it midway. After that, I gave up on everything. I ran away with whatever food and money I could grab. Eventually, they caught me and beat me into unconsciousness. Wait a minute. I'm doing a job. Okay, so... Is this part of ninja training or is this about... Accepting a job? I'm a little confused here. So I'll be killed now. Whatever. Lucky I even lasted this long. I must have used up every last bit of luck I had. Uh Well, you're not gonna be kill- I, I am at- Oh my god. I hope it doesn't come to this, but something tells me that you are not gonna be killed. In fact, something worse, arguably worse, is gonna happen to you. They're probably gonna make you wish you were dead. The bird from before must be readying its claws, preparing to swoop down and feast soon. I'll be free like you soon enough. I will, won't I? Wait, are they already doing it? A loud harsh laugh brings me back to my senses. I wept because I had fallen from the sky. Now I wish for nothing more than to jump and fly. But I can't move, not with his gun stuffed into, in my mouth. I can't even bite my own tongue and end it. Mm. He pulls the gun from my mouth. A bead of saliva hangs from the muzzle of the gun and drips down to my belly button. My jaw is finally free, but I still can't move it. I don't have the courage to say anything. So much for all that training. I was supposed to be ready for death at any moment. I'm still afraid of dying. I guess I won't become anything so great after all.
Oh! Blood splatters in all directions across the man's face, like petals of a bright red flower. The other older ninjas yelp out with a pathetic cry, then he falls down. A tough looking leather cowboy boot kicks the body. Oh! Hey! The girl raises her leg and delivers a shattering axe kick to the man's face. The metal wheel on her cowboy boot cuts deeply into his face. Woo! Doesn't matter. She got the job done. She sent a message. She made an example of him. Hey, if you ask me, three shots is not enough for a person like him. She should have dumped the whole mag in him at least. Dumped the whole cylinder in her case. Because, you know, she doesn't. She carries a revolver, not a magazine fed gun. Also, we got oil and smoke playing again. The track that plays every time something bad, every time there's a badass on screen. Oi, mom. Oi, mom. <sighs> Who are these two? Both of them use unwieldy large revolvers that have huge leather boots on their feet and have huge leather boots on their feet. The two western cowgirls stare down at me, stare me down while I stare up at them from the floor. てわけでもなさそうじゃん。ただのご縁にもだったはずなのに、なんでこんなことしろ。いつものことじゃね。それよりさ、この後何か食べてく。姉さんが作ってくれてるって。おっしゃ。さっさとお仕事済ませて帰
あなたの神経信号はセックスを通じてモニターしていますおはようからおやすみまで全てまるっとお見通し That sounds kind of creepy Stop being so creepy you damn mad scientist How long was I out? ざっと1週間はむしろ生きてたのが不思議なくらいです Okay, okay. I am too. So, the no, you look now, board on suits in a cancer, and I say, so now it's Kagaku no surely. She makes a peace gesture, but her expression remains blank. Her twitching fox ears and tail betray her smug attitude. So, どうですか動きますか無理でしょもともとの古傷プラス今回の怪我であなたはほとんど動けないざっくり見積もって全治2ヶ月半地は不可能アウチ心が必須オン The circuitry installed in my nervous system awakens from its slumber. I feel as if blood is flowing back throughout my body. And I feel able to move again. <laughs> Man, this fox eared girl is just so full of herself, isn't she? Her ears bounce up and down on her head. The PETS, or Personal Experience Taking System, is a device that can operate the human body by sending electrical signals through the nervous system. Through the nervous system. Other pets users can be linked. When this happens, their signals can be transmitted and received, and you can feel whether what the other person feels almost as if their body was your own. You could even control them. However, you can only do so if you and your partner's synchronization rate are high enough. Your partner's physical abilities are also a limiting factor when it comes to supporting them in combat. In practice, the only thing I can really do is help the girls aim the rifles when they are ready to fire, increasing their accuracy, nothing more. Besides all of that, due to the abuse my body has taken from fighting over the years, I can no longer move. However, my, by having the pets act as my nervous system, I'm able to move normally and perform all the basic functions needed to live a normal life. I can even fire a gun. I'd probably miss though. Damn, so yeah, this guy, Arata, he's actually kind of in the same situation as Yuji because both of them, you know, their bodies are debilitating for both of them because of how much fighting they've done and all that and how much shit they've went through. And I have no doubt in my mind that Arata was probably trained as, at a young age just like Yuji. In fact, we even saw that. Yeah, we saw that back in that so-called, well, I guess that the vision L had, which I'm assuming is also a flashback. Even though I'm paraplegic, I can't escape the battlefield because of p the pets. It's not a blessing, it's a curse. Well, maybe not for you. I mean, well, I mean, yeah, Nessa does have a point. I mean, imagine how many people this could save. Like, the pet system can save. Like, imagine the effective, like, the implementation of the system, like, to other people outside of Mihama. Like, this could easily fall into the right and wrong hands. Her tail starts to wag back and forth. Her ears... Your ears and tail don't appear to be simple accessories. Ganessa installed pets within herself alongside ears and tail and tail. She can move them as she desires using pets. They are basically a part of her now. Oh my god. Yeah, and imagine the uh various fetish uh implica implications that you can have with the pet system. While I admire her willingness to use herself as a test subject, when I look at her tail and ears, I can only regard her as an unstable mad scientist. Yeah, it's weird. He legit monologued to himself out loud. It appears that she put a new device inside of me. I bet she'd bring me back to life if I died. No different than a zombie. 
Life isn't some B-rated horror flick. I wish she'd realize that. Is everyone safe? I remember up to when Flan shot her anti-material rifle at the armor helicopter. Since I woke up here, I know that the sword recovery squad must have retrieved me. She must mean Serikan Flan. Even if she told them otherwise, they probably came to see me anyway. I wonder if they're from the same school as as um Rena and Maki. They were trained at the same facility. What happened to the girl? Headquarters. In other words, they're interrogating her. <laughs> That's the only reason you stopped her? Or tried to stop her? Or stop them, I should say. Compared to being experimented on by a mad scientist, being interrogated at headquarters would be a walk in the park. After, however, after headquarters finishes with their interrogation, they will have to dispose of her. A door to the lab suddenly opens and I can hear someone's footsteps as they enter. Oh, uh, Nessa, uh, yeah, you really should look at who enters the door before you actually go and say stuff like that. Ganessa faints and her trembling body falls to the ground with a thud. Now, Serika, a friend that just came in, it's the principal of the whole school, with vice principal Nogami right behind her. <laughs> Miss Nogami glares daggers at Ganessa, but her bloodthirsty gaze isn't even noticed by the girl on the floor who is staring blank blankly at the ceiling and foaming at the mouth. <laughs><笑>はい、学園長と呼びたまえ。黒金ネッサ博士。はい、学園長様。おはよう、新田先生。そろそろ目覚める頃かと思って見舞いに来てみたが、いいタイミングだったようだ。I'm not sure that someone can be, can wake up that fast from fainting, but, I mean, I guess that's the power of the pet system. Maybe that's another feature of the pet system. Not good. I can't even wipe my own butt without relying on Ganessa's sketchy machine. Is that girl safe? Oh, he... Oh, he was feeling all kinds of things. We only survived because of her. And she's just a young girl. Please don't believe everything that Quack says. That reaction happened because we both synchronized via the pets. Oh, so that's what the kids call it these days. Yeah, they're, it, they're synchronized. Yeah, they're, they're totally not in, uh, in love. They're just synchronized. <laughs> yeah, Arta, don't you give me that bullshit. We know what's happening here. And I'm shipping you two anyways, whether you like it or not. あの少女の立場を左右することはできない。今さら君に説明する必要もあるまいが、彼女の立場は非常に微妙だ。そして、君が眠っている間に起こった事件によって、
さらに危ういものとなっているオレンスリンちゃん At the principal's urging, Miss Nogami gets out a tablet and turns it so that I can see it from the bed. A video then sparks to life. A hellish landscape is sprawled out across the screen. Oh, that incident. Tokyo's on fire. The town, the tower that pierced the sky now bends to the ground, and black plumes fill the city. It looks almost as if Tokyo has been bombed. Doesn't feel real. A drone must have recorded this video. I can hear voices crying out for help. Yeah, yeah, we already heard this. Adio. Toma, Adio, not a Nazo no Soshi no Terokong, a Kyo, okay, Tokyo, a Genkai Tai. ケーキと公園からゴミ箱が消えた。ダム。だが真に忙しいのは我々ソードだ。何せ、対テロ組織だからな。君が眠っていたこの1週間、不眠不休で対応させられていた。Who's ヒトツだけ分かっていることは彼らがタナトスシステムを出し抜くほどの力を持っているということだ。ああ、スマーティングサナトソン。ああ。今今しいことにね。サナトスはトップシークレットジョイントアメリカジャパンシグナルインテリ
I mean, I'm I may be wrong on many things when it comes to you know the shows I watch and the Grisaia visual novels that I play, but I'm pretty sure now that this is the case. I mean, that has to be what it's alluding to, right? Hadio basically has their own version of the pet system, some way, somehow. Yeah, the question is how. ママ。Oh, okay, that's good to hear. <clears throat> I never hated pets in its creator as much as I do now. <laughs> それでだ、Really? What? But in our current condition. その you can just tell how hyped up Ness is. That's only because L is a very skilled fire. Isn't Class A supposed to be our combat experts? That's not what I mean. What I'm saying is that they have the most experience on the field, don't they? What kind of operation have they been assigned to? Talking about Class A, of course. Who? I wasn't aware that Miyahama had any combat ready students besides Class A. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, okay. If there are ongoing negotiations, it may be a student from another school. Any new student being admitted to Class D, the dead stock, could be a bit of a problem child. Hide. Hmm? L? Master. And I love how the, the OST that's playing right now is called By Only Getting Close. I'm glad you're okay too. Principal Sengoku, that extra personnel you were talking about. Oh. The principal showing shows no signs of hiding anything. But then why has the conversation leading up to it been so tense? They may it sound like L would be treated as a hostage. So you I understand. With L on our side, we should be alright. But you said yourself that her position was peculiar, didn't you? Let me guess. Is a call strapped to her so that if she tries to rebel or escape, then the collar would blow up and she would die. What? 
人の起爆スイッチを握るのはあなたです、アラク。ええ。は ?Why me? 詳しいことは後々説明しますが、彼女のペッツは旧式のプロトタイプ。一度リンクしたあなたをマスターと認識しています。スレイブである彼女はマスターからの信号を拒否できないため、ご都合なのです。So basically what this means is that his body is whittled like Yuji, but he's gonna have the same master servant relationship as Haruto and Rena. So, so, if L ever tries to betray us, I have to be the one to kill her. Is that fine with you, L? The person in question has agreed so readily, there is no doubt she understands how things stand. By agreeing to be fitted with a pets bomb, she has avoided disposal. ママなる敵幹部の確保ないし殺害だ情報の信憑性を確かめた上で彼女の協力のもと作戦を成功させることができれば完全にではないにしろ疑いは晴れる OK But not all of it That's the caller You're giving a complete stranger the power to activate a bomb inside of you, L Why are you going this far? Just to live a little longer? And like Rena, she also wants to save her sister and all that, and her sister just so happens to be an antagonist. For now. Literally another version of Rena. Except she's less energetic and horny. I see the unwavering conviction in her eyes. But through pets, I can tell there is no doubt in her heart. I slowly get up from my bed and grasp at L's outstretched hand. Master. Welcome to class D, L. Hi, Master. Do you have a story about the story? I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Like I said before, her name might be L, but she got the D. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I said that for R. Well, now it applies to L. <laughs> Do you have a moment, L? Hey, we have got we got her in a school uniform, and I must say, oh my god, she's showing belly button. Oh my god, she's showing tummy. Oh my good golly, she looks wonderful. I stop walking, and L soon stops behind me, and we got bacon and eggs playing. You've heard that in both, yeah, both installments, both the original Grisaia series and Phantom Trigger. It's pretty much a classic Rosaya OST at this point. That's another really chill OST. Played only during like slice of life moments. Despite... Wait, I did read this. Alright, whatever, I'll read it again. I actually don't remember if I read this or not. I stop walking and L soon stops behind me. Despite barely surviving... Being held captive by a brutal terrorist group, she looks rather dazzling in her school uniform. Oh, yeah. I suppose it helps that she's so gorgeous. <laughs> I think I already said this yesterday, but since you've joined my class, you are now my pupil as well as my subordinate. This, that is how I will be treating you from now on. Down stand by until I call for you. All stands to attention, like a dog. That's been trained to obey every command it's told. I enter the classroom where Serika and Flan are quietly studying at their desks. When I walk in, they look up. 
and their bored expressions quickly changed to those of joy. It's been a couple of days since I returned to my post. My students came to visit me a couple of times before, so they are not too surprised to see me now. This girl. Stop hugging me so tightly, it hurts! You'll break, you'll break my bones! Ouch. Exposed. Please don't, you'll reopen my wounds. At my refusal, Flan's face droops in dejection. I glance at her and heave a small sigh. Flan, come here. Flan saunters over to me and I pat her head. I pat both of their heads and apologize. Sorry for worrying you two. Despite what Flan said, the two continued visiting me every opportunity they got. Perhaps they hoped that their visits would give me the energy to heal. That has actually been rather exhausting. I believe I've already told you both, but starting today, we'll have a new student joining us. Come in! L walks to the teacher's podium and faces forward with a stern expression, like that of a soldier. Can you introduce yourself? Yeah, maybe she should be given a proper name. Although, per me personally, I wouldn't mind just calling her L from now on. I mean, it's an easy name to remember and say. There's no need for clearance here. You're among friends. Yeah, I, yeah, I suppose being saying that you're a terrorist lab experiment and you have the pet system in, injected into you is a, not exactly a very flattering introduction. They look bewilderedly at their new classmate. I figured Flan would respond that way, but Serika too. Come on, introduce yourselves. Not as good as Rena, I bet. And maybe not as good as Re maybe not as good as Maki. Yeah, well, actually, you might be in the middle. Because I have a feeling Maki is still very brash and un, very brash and how do I say this? Unrefined when it comes to hand-to-hand -hand combat. So, I mean, you kind of give R a bit of trouble when you fought her. So, yeah, I, I think. I think you can beat Maki, but you can't beat Rena. She has a catchphrase? <laughs> Embarrassed at having a similar palette to most elementary school students, Flan's cheeks turn a bright red and she 
feebly drops back into her seat. As of now, this is the entirety of Class D. What do you think? We're all ready to take on the bad guys, right? Of course they're lacking manpower. They're lacking manpower. Arata's the only man. Your answer is my joke with a serious rebuttal. I'll respond stiffly and robotically, but she doesn't lack motion. She looks at the other two before realizing the social guffaw she made. Elle looks cute when she's flustered. Well, I am wondering what's going on with that ninja girl that we saw earlier. Maybe she'll be the one... Maybe she'll also join Class D. Or hang on, isn't... Maybe it should be like, what was it, Saint Ale? Wait, no, wait. Chocolate and Vanilla and Saint Ale, or whatever... Uh... Organization Chocolate and Vanilla are in. I have one more important announcement to make. We've been assigned a mission. As I'm sure you know, a large-scale terrorist attack happened in Tokyo a couple of days ago. We are to capture one of the masterminds of Hadeo, the group behind those attacks. That would be difficult. If we had a ninja, then that would be a different story. We'll be leaving that stuff to the, to the specialists. Once they're done, it's our turn. Ah, oh, that's when the other girl comes in. Yeah, she... <laughs> yeah, when Harata said, said that, then yeah. She has to be one of the... One of the... Yeah, she has to join Class D. We've always had to avoid direct attacks against the enemy before, but this time is different. We need to hone each of your individual skills, as well as work on how well we can operate as a team. Starting today, we'll put academics aside and focus on planning and training for the mission. <laughs> Baptism by fire? We must perform our mission with our current team. I can't let any of them die. I have a feeling this mission will be harder than anything I could have ever imagined. And we got this track, Humpty Dumpty. You know, I feel the name of that track sounds familiar. I think it might have been one of the tracks that also played in Phantom Trigger. Anyways. Uh-oh. That's just the sound of an unprepared fighter. Let's take it from the top. It's currently morning, and we're training hand-to-hand -hand combat in the gymnasium. Serika has always been the best at this stuff, but Elle has been beating her as if she was she were a small child. She could throw Serika around with ease. May not seem like it, but there's a reason we practice in our school uniforms. Uniform sword students wear is actually bulletproof. Yep, knew that. Which means, which is why we also wear our uniforms when we're deployed on a mission. Okay, maybe she can't beat Maki. She has a point. 
いつか敵と鉢合わせて格闘の訓練してなかったことを後悔するんだからねほらあれよそったその時はセリカが守ってくれるしまいしめなうん当たり前じゃないちょろちょっとほら If you two have enough energy to mess around still, then go run until you barely have any left. I do want to see what you can manage to do yourself, but Ganessa called for you. She wants to do a post surgery checkup. Naked, lie, L lies down on the table. Vanessa plugs a wi wire into the collar of her neck. I wanted to ask, but why is L equipped with pets? I didn't ask Vanessa about it yet. I don't. She did say during her interrogation that she was abducted by terrorists when she was about six years old. What's a design? Heather Osborne? Hmm. Ganessa seems unperturbed, but I'm not so sure this is something to talk about in front of Elle. Let's talk about it later. Children abducted by terrorist groups are often subjected to various degrees of brainwashing. Accordingly, various drugs may be used, and it's not common for subjects to lose their memories. And who is Dr. Heather Osborne? Right, I think I get the idea. Principal Sengoku, besides being a principal, is also a highly acclaimed scientist. Her greatest achievement is the creation of the Thanatos system. Thanks to her invention, the power balance of the world was maintained as a status quo. She is credited as the creator of the signal intelligence system. If this Dr. Osborne is, cap is as capable as her, then that would make her nothing short of a genius. Hmm. Nothing, please go on. Don't tell me she decided to steal Dr. Osborne's research when she heard of her death. That would be a low, even for a quack. <laughs> So では I'm gonna make another prediction that's probably wrong. Dr. Heather Osborne is not dead, she is still alive, and she is Mama. She is the reason why Elle has the, 
the a version of the pet system inside of her. And she may have also developed a supercomputer for Hadio that was able to outmaneuver Thanatos. Ganessa finishes inspecting and conducting the device, which... Wait, connecting the device while we're talking. I already have a decent idea of what type of inspection she's going to carry out. I'll wait outside. Call me when you're done. You sure you want a man monitoring a naked girl? You need to show me all the numbers of electrocardiograms. I wouldn't understand much of it. Oh, well, I guess if you put it that way. She holds a catheter for me to see. Okay, well, what type of catheter are we talking about? Are we talking about the one that goes into your veins, your arm, or are we talking about the one that goes somewhere else? I'll be outside. Call me when you're done. Okay. I'll be outside in the hallway while Ella is receiving her examination. I should ask the higher ups about getting a straight jacket for that nut. I never like when my conversations go with the quack. There's more time for me to deal with her than it is to train. I lean on a wall and droop my head down to rest. That's when I hear the click clack of someone walking down the hallway. The sound just stops. The sound stops just in front of me. Arata. A lemony fragrance enters my nose as my name escapes the person's lips. Whoa! When I look up, there is a girl in front of me wearing a different uniform than the Mihama one. It's a uniform that I've seen many times before. In the girl's hand is a bottle of lemonade. Both she and her brother always had a liking for sour things. Rachel? Rachel? <laughs> Rachel gave off a concerned chuckle, almost as if she doesn't know how she should feel about seeing me. Why are you here at Mihama? She has a bit of an accent to her. Is she supposed to be like... Yeah, I'm just I'm guessing judging by the name and her like kind of accent the way she pronounces certain words it, like handler for example I'm guessing she's supposed to be some sort of like American or Western transfer student I will say though she is very cute so you entered sword? Who's your brother? I'm just wondering what Maz would do. Oz? I... I'm sorry. I lower my head feebly. Not sure what else I can do. Oh. Oh, what happened, Arata? Our comms were cut off from HQ and our commander was wounded. I took up command and brought death to the squadron. I'm the one that killed him. <laughs> Something cold splashes on my forehead. It clings to my hair and drips from my nose. Drops of lemonade fall to the floor. 
Maz and Rachel. Strong citrus scent of the carpenter's favorite drink. Envelopes my head. Rachel coolly makes her leave. Those parting words remain with me. Memories from before fill my damp head. I was called the death sign after that battle in which I lost my closest friend. Like a never-ending nightmare, the events loop in my head. Okay, we gotta learn more about a little more about Marta's past. Interesting. L, having just gotten dressed, looks over at me with a start. Vanessa, are you done? Right, good. Uh, sprinkler accident. Ganessa, do you have the form I need to sign yet? This one right here? Your inspection for today is over. Rest until the next training session. I'm going to take a shower. I'll be back by evening. <laughs> smells so sour. <笑>あ、<笑> あ、これ他には内緒の Oh, is she watching that whole conversation? Was she watching that whole? Is she watching that whole conversation? Oh. Okay, yeah, so now they know what happened. どういうことでしょうか。実際にガラムのあれでしょうか。新たと一緒にしてるって言うと、彼を残してて運営しぬという人物。ばあ、バゲていますよ。いかがことと言わざるを得ません。よく私には理解を。うん、師匠、また Ah, another Gazaya classic OST. The moon is watching. Ah, uh, one of the most calming Grisaya OSTs. Ah, Rachel is on the. She showed a sword on a gay kid at the corner. She knew no remote son of her. She knew no remote. 
て自然に仲良くなれそうな両ポジションでもその親友の人は任務中に死んじゃったんだよね師匠のバディだったんだってそれでエスサインって呼ばれるようになったエスサイン師匠が呼ばれてるあだ名だよ過去に何度か部隊が全滅してその度に先生一人生還するそれで呼ばれるようになった死神を呼び寄せる印なんじゃないかって部隊が全滅するのはそれだけ難しい任務に当たっているからマスターが一人生還するのは彼が飛び抜けて優秀だからです Well, unfortunately, not everyone is,、uh, is as understanding as you. So, 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 Nanda, yo, Elul, eat for the yo, Cassiote, a yo. Elul, Nanoni, those the master, no yoni, Sekini, or c a n g i r i n o the shoka. Rachel, no, Saisha, Kogetic, Natai, the Rimasen, the Shoka. Why are you giving her a cute ass nickname? Why are you giving her a cute ass nickname? Why are you giving her a cute ass nickname? Why are you giving her a cute ass nickname? Wouldn't it be a lot easier to say L? Elalun is much more syllables. Shisho, <laughs> 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 わかってない。どういうことですか。ぶっかけられたいの。まあまあ、フラン、その手のそばは置いて、ノーぶっかけでね。Yeah, we don't need another girl wasting food or consumable。向こうで食べる。おお。ああ、わかった。じゃ、後で訓練場でね。私、しくじりましたか。ああ。ソードとは人殺しの組織その死に揺れていては務まらないのではアウチそうなんだよね同時にここは三浜でもあるんだよね三浜三浜学園に普通の子は一人もいない犯罪に巻き込まれたり自分が犯罪者になっちゃったりあーマンエル she's been uh She's never had the opportunity to build any like meaningful relationships. Or, or actually, no. It would be more accurate to say that all the meaningful relationships she might have built when she was a child is now forgotten by her. Because she's been a lab experiment. Yeah, she doesn't. She's not as familiar with human connection anymore as a Flan. そういう子供の受け皿だからそれぞれに背負ってることがあるんだよエルルンだってそうでしょそれはわかりますですがエルルンのいた場所ではきっとそうなんだろうね話を遮ってごめんねでも割り切れないこともあるの育ってきた環境も歩いてきた道もここにいる理由もみんな違う僕なんかは好きでソードに入ったけどさほとんどは入らざるを得ない子ばっかり Because you wanted to. だから多めに見てあげてフランも師匠も私はそんなつもりではうん分かってるエルルまっすぐないい子だもんま何事もこれからこれからほら冷める前に食べちゃおううんうんうんうん、oh, I like how nice Serica was about it. Yeah, yeah. なんかプロって感じだね僕は寂しいかなだから僕はみんなを守る盾になりたいんだそれがここにいる理由
ああ困らせちゃったね忘れて忘れて独り言みたいなもんだしいえところでエルルンさんやさっきから食べてるそれ何本場プレゼント Why are you eating? You're not even in combat. Oh, so I'm a little bit of a car on the Kedosa. Hey, Tai Sanga, send you the tabby at the end, eh? Oh, she knew. Man, the sheer difference between their meals. She's eating a basic combat ration while Serica is eating a whole ass ramen bowl. Yeah, open it. Josh, you don't know me, you tell me by any name. Yes, yo. If Kateu don't know more in me, you can send you in. That does sound like a pretty good deal. おかまいなく。その冷蔵は栄養バランスに優れ、何より無駄な時間をかけずに済みやかに摂取できます。言ってる間に食べ終わっちゃった。それでは私はこれで。待ってよ。僕もすぐ食べちゃうから。うんうん
El Senpai. Okay, that makes more sense. I mean, they did that with Phantom Trigger. Why can't they do that here? Don't tell me we're not we're, gonna, we're not gonna get any at all. Justice levels? Serika and Flan don't know everything about El's past. Some of it is confidential, after all. However, the two do know that she's an ex-terrorist, and they do have some idea about what type of training she received. She still holds a grudge against L? Sure. You go too, Serika. Ah, uh, down horrendous this girl is. The two of them leave. Flan's shoulders sag slightly as she walks, and Serika turns around to blow me a kiss goodbye. Leave her be. She just feels down. About what? About why she's in Class D? Sure, you understand, right? Try as hard as she might, she still doesn't improve. Then, a new transfer student shows up that tears her results to shreds. Almost as if the results she's achieved are meaningless. Mmm, okay. So it wasn't just about what she said during the cafeteria. From her perspective, there is nothing to be happy about. This feels insecure. Like it's her fault that she can't improve. Sprint 50 laps around the school. Flan's problems are not your problems. They're not something you need to think about. If you have time to worry about other people's shortcomings, you, you're you better off running until you feel like throwing up. Elle bows her head cordially and head heads towards the changing room. I stare at her back and let out a silent sigh. Yamoto-san? Yamoto-san, who was just nagging Serika about gun safety, manages the gun range. You can call her the range master around here. Yeah. Not everyone that enrolls in Mihama has good aim or is used to being in a gunfight. Picking up a rifle is their last resort. Yamoto-san leaves still grumbling to herself. She may not seem it, but she's always busy. Besides managing the gun range, she's also the gunsmith in charge of maintaining all of the weapons for the students at Mihama Academy. On top of that, she's actually a student herself studying mechanical engineering, but she's so important that she's treated just like staff. She treats all of the students that use her guns like her own children. She's like a sassy mother figure to all of us. I got caught monologuing to myself again. I leave the firing range, but not before receiving a good whack on the back by an incensed Yamoto-san. All right, I think this is a good place to stop. So I definitely feel like this is not as exciting as the previous three play playthroughs. Well, aside from the, um, yeah, I wouldn't say this is as exciting. Um, but still, you know, there's uh, quite a bit that happened. Um, 
It was mainly focused on the new characters though, Arata, Serica, Flan, etc, L, etc. Um, which is needed considering how much time we spent on the previous Desai characters. So yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you guys next time.